Hello guys, welcome back to the channel. My name is Eunice and of course this is actually Pride guys. Thank you for clicking this very video. Um, is it your first time on the channel? If it's yes, please make it a point to subscribe and you should know that you have arrived. Welcome on board. <laughs> and of course if you are um, a family member here, welcome back still. I hope you're doing great so guys I'm, I'm in the kitchen and i'm going to cook eggplants i'm going to cook it fresh i showed you how to preserve this i think two or three days back i showed you how to preserve this but before i cook that um the dried ones the preserved ones i want to show you how we cook the fresh ones before we can get to the other the one i preserved so guys right away uh, allow me to cut it then we can kick start mm? so guys this right here i call it silver fish some people call it omena there's another name there are some other names that people call this but um i'm going to mix this in the um, eggplants meanwhile it's not the only thing you can cook in the eggplants you can either mix um literally any meat i think any meat can work in that except maybe chicken i've never tried with chicken <laughs> but any meat can work on this guys so i have chosen to cook with this and so what happens is we first sort i think you can notice that these ones which are really big and rough very rough and bony so you cannot eat this freely that is the reason we sort it away so in case of any stones or anything, we also sort it out before we wash. Alternatively, we also pluck off the heads. I think the last time I cooked when I was plucking off the heads, but today I'm doing it this way. I want to show you that it can also be cooked without plucking off the heads. So that's the reason today I'm not plucking off. So guys, the thing is with this, um, this small fish here, I don't know why, but it always has stones. And that is actually the reason I remove the heads, yeah? but like i told you you can also do without but that means thorough washing like you have to wash in warm water first of all in warm water so you wash it and like repeat twice or even thrice just for your own <laughs> convenience when you're eating because imagine you're eating then you bite stones in the middle Ooh, not nice i think i get a headache just immediately <laughs> so that is just it it has stones that is the reason I choose to remove the heads, but I know some people cook without removing the head, so I'm also doing it that way today. So, guys, after sorting it all or removing the head, that is if it's going to be done. Let me just pour this rubbish here. You need to wash it properly, like I told you, and I choose to wash it with warm water. well guys it is very hot i think you can even notice i don't know but you might not really notice but just know i'm sweating the heat is still something else guys too hot so this is warm water i think you can see the steam I'm going to leave it in the warm water a bit. As we wait for the fire to get well, it looks like it is not yet ready. So let's give it some minutes as we wait for the fire, guys. So let me now wash it. I think you can notice even the water has cooled. So it actually took long soaking just to make sure that um the soil washes off like they okay the soil particles can be stuck on it so if it soaks like this it can be washed properly and then at the end of it you're sure that there is no soil particles on it and then another thing with this um one thing i've noticed when it stays in warm water like this after soaking it's almost like getting cooked by the way it, after soaking it like this in warm water, in other words, it does not take long getting cooked. So that's another way of shortening the cooking. <laughs> hey. 
so that's cooking oil I'm going to wash it and repeat it has pricked me <laughs> So the downer part can be having soil particles. That is why I'm so keen when I'm removing this one. So this is the second washing. And some salt. And then, of course, the silverfish, I'm also adding it. I know most of you probably have not tested this fish, but it's the small one. But it's really nice, very nice. In case you don't have the eggplants to cook it with, you could also just cook it plain. And then maybe you serve it with beans, a side dish. Oh my goodness, you're going to lick your fingers terribly with posho, guys. Mm? <laughs> Cornbread. Oh, nice. <laughs> so here when I'm removing, I remove it in a way that I make sure the soil particles sink back down. Yeah? That is the reason why you see me doing this. So beneath the water there, the, the soil particles, I'm just going to pour it away. This 
So I have some warm water here, but still, it's not a must that you add warm water. This is just because I have it. You can also do cold water and it's still okay. Here we go. So let's leave it here. I'm going to pour this to my chicken. <laughs> they eat that. So let me just leave this one here to cook and get it ready as I go and feed the chicken with this and also these other particles remaining down here. There's some, I think you can see this. I'm taking it to the chicken. I don't know if you're hearing them in the background. <laughs> can hear them? <laughs> They're waiting for me. See how I call them? <laughs> they all right. They know the language. Are chasing away the small ones. <laughs> Wait, before even I do that, first of all, guys, I am so shocked. It's the, I don't know if you're here in the roof, it is drizzling guys with a lot of wind in that I don't even know where the rain came from. Remember when we started cooking there's nothing like rain, but even before the sauce get, got ready, it's already threatening to rain, like, like I mean threatening to rain. It's actually drizzling as you can hear, but it's too windy instead. So guys, woo, <laughs> our sauce is ready. And have a look. <laughs> and of course I want to test. <laughs> know how I do it. <laughs> Very hot. I'm going to keep it there because I don't want it to cool. But look at this. Okay, first of all, this. What does this look like to you? <laughs> I want you to say it's liver because to me that's how it looks like, guys. Just have a look at this. That is very hot. And with this kind of coldness that is coming, what more do I ask for apart from something hot like this? <laughs> okay, it's burning me. <laughs> it's burning me, but I'm pretending. <laughs> okay, John is laughing at me. <laughs> okay, so the guys, this sauce is, um, for me, I love it served with um, posho, like I told you earlier on, yeah? So I don't know if there's any other food that you guys serve it with. Please let me know if there's any. For me, I love it with posho, and actually, that's what we're going to eat it with. <laughs> 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 